our group was mainly focusing on um, equality in America. And one, you know, there are lots of different ways that you can look at that. And one of the things that we thought would be an interesting idea would be to look at the American dream and actually define it. A lot of polls will, will talk about the American dream. Do you think you know, you're able to achieve the American dream? But they never really attach tangible goals that people kind of strive for in their life. Um, and so when we were making our question, we really wanted to tie that to, you know, goals that are common for people to be, you know, reaching for, like owning a home, you know, um, having your children be, uh, be better off than you were. And, you know, we were really wanting to focus on that as like a measure of equality in America. One of the things that was pretty, you know, motivating, I, guess, I don't know if that's the right word for it, but was, was surprising was that people were still pretty positive if they hadn't achieved the dream. They, you know, they were, you know, they weren't saying there's no way I'm going to be able to, you know, own a home. There's no way I'm going to be able to have a job that pays well. Um, even if they hadn't achieved it yet, they were still uh, optimistic about their future and being able to achieve that later. I'm so excited that Cornell has this poll and has this opportunity. Um, it's really rare that an undergraduate student would be able to get to do this type of work and have input on a national poll, um, especially with, you know, the, the people that we're working with, with the Seltzer Co. Uh, it's, it's really just a fantastic opportunity for any students that want to be kind of like trying to ask questions of what's going on in America.